Hallelujah. <laughs> what a mighty God we serve. Come on, Ebenezer. Get your shout on. Get your praise on. For we have something to shout about. We have a God that we can praise. All glory and honor. Praise and amen. High praise, low praise. Amen. Every praise. Every praise belong to thee, O Lord. All things belong. All things come from the Lord. All things belong to the Lord. The glory of the Lord is our continued, amen, strength. And so we're blessing, amen. I see you, Deborah. Come on in, amen. The first one on today. Hallelujah. So glad to be in the land of the living and so glad to be able to articulate uh, the fact that uh, the Lord has brought us from a mighty long way. We are truly excited this afternoon. Thank God for you uh, for coming and joining and being a part of our uh, midday march to Zion. This is a brand new week. Amen. A brand new five night, five days. Amen. That we might share one with another. Be safe out there. Uh, I just come back from the homegoing uh, celebration for uh, Paula Michelle Denton, a uh, member of the church and part of our Annie B. Rose Missionary Ministry uh, internment at the Quantico National Cemetery. But we were wearing masks. Amen. Everybody still want to be safe. Um, we didn't have too much social distancing, but to the degree that we were able to, uh, we were uh, amen, uh, prudent of our surroundings. Come on, y'all. We got to continue to uh, be vigilant uh, and maintain the necessary uh, safety precautions to keep each other safe going, uh, going forward. Uh, we're still uh, seeing a, a rise in the infection rate for the coronavirus. We're still seeing the death rate uh, steadily increasing day by day. We throwing our hands up and surrendering, amen, and saying, the Lord, we need your help, uh, and please come by and, uh, and see about your children. Father, help your children. And then the country is still in the throes of change. Uh, we're, we're, we're demanding the removal of uh, racist uh, symbols and flags. We want to revamp our police department so that they accurately reflect uh, the, uh, the, the idea of protect and serve. And, uh, and also this weekend, uh, we saw the, uh, the loss of two, um, uh, icons in the, in the black community, certainly, uh, John Lewis, uh, our civil rights leader, uh, one of many, uh, passed away along with C.T. Uh, Vivian, uh, many people didn't know much about him, but but our hearts go out to 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 the Lewis family and the Vivian family, and then uh, our very own in this area, uh, the Washington D.C. Uh, um, the D.M.V. as we call it, um, uh, Patrick Ellis uh, from W.H.U.R. from the Sunday Morning uh, Gospel Spirit. So our hearts are praying for the Ellis family as well. But we're still thankful to the Lord for what he has given us. Come on, let's, let's go to our inspirational message. It says, what appears to be a sacrifice today in due time will prove to be one of the greatest investments you could ever make. Amen. A sacrifice today, amen, is the greatest investment you can make. And so I want my spiritual focus to, 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 to talk from the subject, uh, sacrifice it all for Christ. Uh, sacrifice it all uh, for Christ. Uh, uh, the, the hymn that comes to mind is that, uh, that asks the question, is your all on the sacrifice, uh, is your all on the altar of sacrifice laid? Uh, and so we want to make sure that we have uh, the things necessary uh, on, 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 on the altar for the Lord that we are sacrificing uh, for the advancement of the kingdom. And this is what Jesus says in Luke chapter 14, verse 27. He says to us, and whosoever 
does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Do you hear that? That, that, that if there is no cross bearing or the bearing of one's own cross, then there will be, uh, you know, no discipleship. You cannot be referred to as a disciple of Christ. So here the Bible is instructing every disciple uh, to sacrifice unconditionally for the Savior. And in the text, the cross is synonymous to a sacrifice. Whenever you take up your cross, amen, it is a, it, it, it's a tantamount uh, to lifting up and, and providing a sacrifice for the Lord. Because our discipleship requires a complete surrendering and sacrificing of the self. Amen. We got to give our all starting with ourselves. And beware, my brothers and sisters, it is possible to be a hanger on in some great work and not put your all on uh, or not or not pull your share of the load. And so be careful. Uh, amen. Because it's possible to be found in the worship and still remain lost in sin. But Luke is saying it, but it is impossible to be a disciple of Christ and not offer sacrifices of praise and gifts unto the cause of Christ. You see, the real cost of discipleship is a total commitment to and an absolute sacrifice of stuff for Christ without reservations. Our sacrifice for Christ is an enormous investment, which shall in due time prove to be a decisive decision for destiny into the kingdom of God. Aren't you glad about that? Hallelujah. Amen. I am investing in the kingdom that's going to pay off, uh, amen, with my uh, 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 spiritual uh, 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 uplift and, and my spiritual connection with Christ. In, in Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10, Solomon teaches, it might seem hard now, but the sacrifices made and the hard work that we toil will be rewarded. Aren't you glad about that? Solomon told us that. And lest we forget, relationship means coming to the cross and trusting Jesus Christ. But discipleship means carrying the cross and following Jesus Christ. Lest we forget, membership is about you being in the church. Discipleship is about the church being in you. Notice the difference. And lest we forget, fellowship is concerned with taking something from ministry. Discipleship is concerned about giving everything into ministry. And lest we forget, stewardship focus on the congregation's plans and programs, but discipleship focuses on the kingdom's fellowship and evangelism so that the cause of Christ may be advanced. Our sacrifices for Christ shall be rewarded by Christ. Aren't you glad about that? Only what you do for Christ will last. Only the labor for the Lord is going to be counted in the end. And therefore, for Christ's sake, sacrifice it all for Christ. Remember, Ebenezer, we're in this together. Amen. And together the Lord's going to pull us through. Hallelujah. We're going to go all the way to absolute victory. Amen. In membership, in discipleship, in fellowship, in relationship, in stewardship, in, 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 in fellowship, whatever ship. Stay in the ship. Amen. Keep on doing what you're doing for the Lord and God's going to give you the reward for your labor. Amen. And he's going to bless real good, abundantly and above all that you might ask or think. I have not seen, ears have not heard, 
what the Lord has in store for those that love him. Amen. Aren't you glad about that? So be encouraged. I'll see you on tomorrow. And say, and, 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 and as we <laughs> oftentimes say, until next we meet, come on, Ebenezer, say it with me. Keep marching to Zion.